All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming clear. Uh, for some reason we could not do it in the first uh, broadcast. It shows from my side fine, but it doesn't go. However, today our topic is about Islam is convincing. And for sure Islam is convincing. I am very convinced. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm with you. I'm very convinced. You know, Muhammad is like a guy and we, you know, we put makeup on him. And we add more makeup. We try to fix the eyes, we try to fix the face, we try to fix the nose, we try to fix the mouth, and we try to make him look handsome. And, and handsome here is not about his look, it's about how filthy he is. Uh, but Islam is convincing. So, uh, and I, by the way, I see Muslims, they have many comments, and I encourage them to call me. I'm really, I beg you to call me and ask me the questions which you think it is uh, good. As an example, I saw in the chat, uh, a Muhammadan who uh, he said, uh, let me put his, uh, uh, I took a snapshot of it. Let us see, this is the one. Uh, he said, uh, let me make it bigger for you so you can see it. <clears throat> Islam can heal your sadness. My friend, your, your prophet, according to you Muslims, all his kids die. You, you claim that he have kids. He died, he could not heal them. And Muhammad, he died by poison, he could not heal himself. So what are you talking about? Now, we are pleased that not the answer. If Jesus is God, who is the father? That Jesus was mentioned that the father of Jesus, how come God can have a father? <laughs> how come God? You see, just to show you the low IQ of those who believe in Islam. Okay, I will go with your logic. I'm not going to use any other logic. How come Jesus has no God? He's born of a woman. He have no God. Oh, you will say it's a miracle. Well, I say to you the same. God is a miracle. God, he can be three, yet he is one. So you are questioning God or you are questioning your stupidity. Because if you are questioning God how he can, well, you need to question how Jesus can. Always I see Muslims, when they give us their question, they shoot themselves in the foot. Now you tell me, you as a Muhammadan, how you how come you believe that Jesus have no father? Where is where does Jesus coming from? He have no father. Okay, tell us what happened. Any Muhammadan? Any of those smart Muhammadan who play in the chat when I am away? How, why Jesus? Oh, he will say to me, Adam have no father. Are you stupid? Adam is not born. I mean, are you stupid or you are stupid? Actually, yes, he is a stupid like he's a prophet. The Quran says Jesus is the same as, as Adam, but Jesus is not the same as Adam. The Quran says that Jesus is same as Adam. Allah said to him, be and he was. Hmm? Where in the Quran Allah created Adam by saying be? The Quran says Allah, he made mud. Then he fashioned the mud in the shape of a man. And then he breathed into that fashion of a shape. So where is the B? What a stupid Quran. What a stupid Quran. What a stupid author. Hmm. Now, we will go back to our topic. Islam is convincing. How we can make Islam convincing? We have a video from Dr. Shabir Ali. Oh, and he is the rest the same as... He's a smart, you know. He, this is why he decided not to debate me. Uh, because he's smart, he knew what would, ha would happen. D Dr. Shabir Ali is a person who is answering, he can answer any question you have, but with no answer. Like you say to him, why the sun set in murky water? He will speak for 10 hours, he will say nothing. Is Islam convincing the title of his video, how we will know? I can tell you what, how we will know. I mean, it's very easy. Hello. I'm convinced. The funny that Shabir Ali, he speak that Muhammad, he have many prophecies and the Quran and science, science, prove Islam. I mean, it's proven scientifically that if you rest, if you lift your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. 
The Quran says that the Christians and the Jews, if they don't believe in Allah, now in the time of Muhammad, Allah will erase their eyes and their eyebrows. And by the way, I don't have eyes, I don't have eyebrows. Actually, Allah, he said he will make them in the back of my face. And this is why nobody can hit me from the back. Islam is convincing. The sun set in murky water. Muhammad, he did, you know, he tell us where the sun goes every day. I mean, it's convincing. Very convincing. Satan, he's deep in your nose. Very convincing. I mean, how how we can deny that Satan, he's deep in our nose? Can you deny that? You know, I don't know if you know that Muslims, when they uh, when they do this, uh, uh, wudu, they do put water in their nose, which is very stupid and disgusting. I mean, how you can put water in your nose? You have to sniff it and then you push it out. The reason for that is scientific. Because shaitan, he sleep in your nose. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. The Muslim, they will say, ah, this is a weak hadith. Naif, this is the, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Hello? And by the way, actually, I have a videotape of me when I was asleep where uh, my mom, she took a video of me and my nose, actually. She saw two foot coming from my nose. And that was Shaitan, sleepy in my nose. I mean, Shaitan, he cannot find the five stars hotels for free. He will sleep in the nose of the Abdul. And you are telling me that Islam is not convincing. What's wrong with you? It's obvious that Islam is convincing. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us and tell us how Islam is convincing? What about Muhammad saying scientific facts? Like if you if you if you yawn, this is from Shaitan. And when you die, when you uh, 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 yawn, Shaitan he jump inside your opening, which means your mouth. I mean, this is scientifically true. Muhammad is observing what around us, and his God Allah told him the truth. When you do yawn, Shaitan he laugh at you. Ha 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 ha. Let us read this Sahih Hadith. They will say to you, it's weak. Just wait. The Messenger of Allah said, The sneeze is from Allah and the yawn is from a shaitan, which means Satan. Did you learn something new? Convincing? I want you right now, tomorrow, when you go to school, and if you are a student in university or a professor, to start the day with telling your students something amazing, a new discovery. Nobody knows except Muhammad. Very convincing stuff. Don't worry if you work in Islamic, uh, I mean, Islamic country. Nobody, nobody will fire you. Like if you are Indonesian in Indonesia and you want to say an amazing thing, you will amuse your student right in the board. Sneeze is from Allah, and the yawn is from Shaitan. Hold on, this is not working with me. I don't like it really. I mean, I should, I should make it more uh, practical. Because uh, Muslims, they convince themselves with the echo stuff. Hmm? The messenger of Allah said, The sneeze is from Allah. Hold on. We need more echo. The sneeze is from Allah, and the yawn is from a shaitan. So, when one of you yawns, let him cover his mouth with his hand. For when he says ah, 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 a 
الشيطان لف فرام انسائد زوبنين Aren't you convinced yet, 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 yet? This is the most convincing, sensing, sensing, sensing prophet, prophet, prophet. Okay, enough is enough. I mean, enough is enough. This is very, this is too much convincing. So you put your hand over your mouth because Shaitan he will jump inside your mouth, and he will be like, ha 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 ha. No, this doesn't work this way. I mean, I'm not even doing it good. Hold on. <laughs> I'm truly, truly convinced. Absolutely. That is not only science, this is from God. This is, must be from God. I mean, how would the prophet knew this? This is godly knowledge. Hmm? Oh, hold on. I mean, we have English stuff which is proof to us that Muhammad is a prophet. Hmm. But I will, you know, I don't want to talk about things is not useful. Especially if you are a Muslim living in Indonesia, it's a it's a hot country. I mean, it's a warm country. And for sure, because you are living in a warm country, you have a lot of insect, which is very normal. Do you know that the Prophet, he gave you an advice which is a priceless. If you follow it, you will never see a doctor again. Look at this. Let me open this hadith. And by the way, if you think we are just going to show you stupidity from the hadith, you are mistaken. We have English from the Quran. All right. The Prophet, he have a very, 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 very special knowledge when it's come uh, to medicine. And this is all is coming from Allah. So the Prophet, he said, if a fly fell down in your soup, I don't know even how I can read this hadith without echo. The Prophet said, If a house of fly falls in the drink of any of you, 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 you come tomorrow. The city is stuck. You, you, you. So the prophet saying, if the drink fell in your soup, what? Ah, it's you, not me. Thank God. You. Uh huh. All right. He should dip it in the drink and take it out for... Look at the logic, brother. Hey, brother and sister, Prophet Muhammad, he is the most knowledgeable person in science and medicine. And I'm a doctor, as you know. That's too much. This is too much. Uh, uh, we have Dr. Zakir Naik here. He is going to explain to us what's going on. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, what do you like to say to those kuffar infidels? They are making fun of the Prophet about this hadith. Brother Tittar, 
I first of all, this person Christian Prince in the big fat here, and we get embedded, and we get embedded in 100 video. It's proven scientifically that if a fly fell in your soup, if you dig it, dig it, dig it, it's going to make your soup dirty. But in the same time, thanks to Allah, we have a medicine in the other wing. So one wing have poison and the other wing have the cure. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Dr. Zakir, don't you think this is too much stupid? Christian friends, first of all, you are stupid. And I can prove it. You don't speak Arabic, you don't speak English. And you are stupid, really. Look at me. No, not here. I said, look at me. Why you are looking at my tooth? Look at me. Okay, now you get it right. You are looking at me, at my nose. Okay, so now, imagine you are drinking soup. And then a fly fell down in your soup. What you will do? You throw the soup, you pour 50 cents for it. The prophet will give you an amazing solution. You put the, uh, you ask, and, and like, let us be explain to you because you are very slow. Uh, you ask the fly to do snorkeling. Snorkeling, like, you know, you go snorkeling, you know, in the beach. Huh? So the fly will do snorkeling. And you put the fly down by doing snorkeling. And then there is medicine in the wing, uh, doctor. Uh, uh, which wing? The prophet did not say. We are not sure what, what, what wing have, it, have the, the medicine and what wing have the disease. Um, so, if you do not know which wing have the medicine, uh, why the two wings have, they don't have the same? I mean, why one wing uh, have something and the other wing uh, have uh, the opposite? Exactly. Because, this is because of balance. As an example, if you go in the airplane, they put equal passenger in both seats for the airplane because that will make a balance. So the wings have balance, the same weight exactly in every wing. Um, okay. Uh, actually, this is a very uh, scientific, you are right. Uh, but uh, how the prophet discovered this, that the fly have uh, like a uh, kind of illness in one wing and uh, have a cure in the other wing. How he got this uh, idea? The prophet, everything he say is coming from Allah. And very scientifically. And Allah provide him with all the And nobody know. And now it discovered that it is true. Uh, they discovered that uh, the fly have uh, something bad in the wing and something good in the other wing. Exactly. Who discovered that? I will give you the name of the scientist. His name is Yama Suzuki Yama Mitsubishi Yama Toyota from Japan. Um, as I remember, those are names of cars brand. Uh, Mitsubishi, Toyota, Honda. I mean, this is the name of the person. I know him personally. And he is Japanese. And he is actually his grandfather. His name is Yama Yaha Yama Yahu. Okay, and uh, so his name is Yama Yaha Yama Yama. What about his uncle? Uh, actually, to be honest with you, he have a brother who converted to Islam, and his name I, Yama I do lie Yama. Ah, Yama I do lie Yama. I heard of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yama I do lie Yama. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. The sound like the name sound familiar for me. I'm not sure where this uh, where, where I heard the sound before. I mean this name. Exactly, he's very famous and very well known, and he is a genius. And actually, he was going to die, but because he threw the practice of the Prophet and he dipped the fly in the soup, and that's why if you go in China, you will find a lot of soup have a fly. Mm. By the way, I discovered that Corona, the virus, first time discovered was in Mecca. Is that true? Exactly. First time everything in the world is discovered in Mecca because Mecca is the center of the world and center of viruses. Oh, oh boy. Do we have any Muslim here when I say something convincing? Guys, do you know that the first place, Corona, the virus, which is everybody scared of, discovered in Mecca? Do you know that? Maybe many, maybe you, maybe you think I'm joking. Just search, type coronavirus and type next to it Mecca. 
The first time they discovered it, it was in 2012, I think, in Mecca during people doing Hajj. Hmm. Now, all the hadith are da'if. Okay, let us switch to the Quran then. Quran, I mean, forget about the hadith. Hadith is just, uh, everything is hadith. It's stupid. Actually, you know what? If I open the first page of the Quran, I will die laughing. I mean, imagine a God, he is saying, in the name of Allah. Like, who are you? Are you to Allah? How the one is talking, he is Allah, he is saying, in the name of Allah. Imagine Jesus is talking, saying, in the name of Jesus. You say in the name of a person if you are not the person. The first line in the Quran is a joke. Then, praise be to Allah. Allah saying, praise be to Allah. You see here, there is something missing. Like, when they asked Jesus how to pray, he told them, pray like this. That's wonderful. So, I pray like this. But, here, Allah himself saying, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, praise be to Allah, the gracious, the sustainer. And then he says, repeat again, the same sentence he just said a second ago. Didn't he just say this sentence a second ago in the line before? Why you are repeating it twice? Are you out of word? You have nothing to say? You see it? You see it? And then Allah, he said, Thee do we worship and thin aid we see. What? Obviously, this is a prayer Muhammad, he made, trying to be like the Christians who have our Father out of heaven. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Three names, as you see in the screen. Ar-Rahman is the merciful. Ar-Rahim is the mercy or let us say it can be the same like the mercy the merciful and then he says show us the straight a straight way isn't it this is what the christians say guide us to the straight way which mean like you know you know don't let us go astray don't let us be deceived is, uh, keep us away from uh, from trial. It's exactly our father. Of, uh, he just made some change. Read them. It's in front of you. He's a thief. Now, forget about this. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? And show me something in the Quran is convincing that it is must be coming from God. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He can call us. Just say, I will call you. And I will be happy to receive you. Hmm? The funny, uh, what his name, uh, 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 Shabir Ali, he said, the Quran never changed. I mean, look, your first chapter in the Quran is a chapter of al Fatiha, but this is what not even exist in the book of Ibn Mas'ud. Secondly, this is not the first chapter your prophet received, supposedly. It's chapter number 96. So how do you say the Quran never changed? How dare you, you lie? I mean, those people, they cannot survive without lying. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Any Muhammadan? Hello? According to Islamic scholars, not to me, there is hundreds if not thousands of verses are missing in the Quran, not according to me, according to Islamic scholars. As an example, Aisha alone, she mentioned 
that the chapter of Al-Baqarah used to be equal to the Ahzab, which means there's more than a hundred verses that are missing in one chapter alone. But forget about what is missing. Actually, I hate them to be missing because that will make us lose, have less opportunity to love. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? It doesn't matter who you are, even from those like, you know, I would like from those who make videos uh, claiming that they can refute me. Who would like to call me? Any Muhammad? Hmm? Okay. Who is a Muslim? He is willing to challenge me. You give me a chapter in the Quran and you challenge me to find a mistake. Any chapter. What do you think? Any chapter. Anything. Any Muhammadan? You have 114 chapters. Choose one. Just to show you how easy it is to get Muhammad busted. Anyone? Hmm. All right. Forget about this all. I mean, Muhammad he is a prophet, and he made many prophecies. Like what? Do you remember where Muhammad he said the judgment day is near and the moon split? That prophecy alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. The Muslims, they argue, say, the moon is split, but nobody saw it. Few people saw it. Uh, there is a, they, you know, when they made a video to refute the uh, uh, apostate prophet, they said to him, uh, the reason nobody saw it, because it was for a very short time. For a short, I mean, what is wrong with this God? He do it in the wrong time? He did it in the wrong time, whereas everybody is asleep and nobody saw it. This is why there is no record of it. But forget about this, regardless if the moon is split or not. Muhammad, he claimed that the judgment day is very near. And the split of the moon is not a sign of a judgment day. It is the start of a judgment day. Because he's saying, that, you know, I mean, is, do the moon split every day? Is that something happening every day? No. Why the moon is split? What exactly Allah accomplished by splitting the moon? The answer is there in the verse. The moon split because the judgment there, uh, they, is, it says in Arabic actually, it's almost there. You see, this is the Muslim translation. It's in the corner. So Muhammad, he, you know, he made a false prophecy. What is a prophecy in the Quran, Muhammad, he said, come to be true? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to help us? We have Muslim Min Jawab. Are you there, Mr. Muslim Min Jawab? Because I see always your text a lot. But I want, to, you, I want you to help us, my friend. Can you give us a prophecy in the Quran come to be true? Who is a Muslim want to show us a prophecy in the Quran come to be true? Anyone? You, you can text, you don't need to call me if you cannot call. Just type in the chat please. What is the prophecy in the Quran come to be true? Because when we call Muhammad the prophet, he have to prophesy. I mean, otherwise why you call him prophet? Anyone? Where is the, what happened to Muslim Jawab? This guy he was texting like like a gun machine. So I think he is searching Google for something to show us. He is searching Google right now. 
what a prophecy uh, what prophet said in the in the Quran come to be true like which one hmm? actually there was a Muslim he is he claimed to be from China but he lived in Indonesia he said they found the temple of Suleiman in Indonesia the palace sorry the palace of Suleiman in Indonesia the Muslim now they are saying that Suleiman is an Indonesian I ask him, did you find his flying carpet? Suleiman in Indonesia. You know what? Maybe the flying carpet. You are hiding. Uh, otherwise, give me. I ask you a very simple question. Can you give me a prophecy? Muhammad, your prophet, said in the Quran, come to be true. Just one. I mean, isn't it a shame? If, if the Quran could not mention a prophecy, to make Muhammad a prophet, then the Quran is a stupid book. Correct, guys? You 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 say Muhammad is a prophet. Okay, how he what prophecy mean? Prophecy is Muhammad saying something God told him. Where in the Quran Allah He told Muhammad something come true. Hmm. Any Muslim knows? Where in the Quran? Where is a prophecy come to be true? Why Muslim cannot find something? Even in Google you cannot find something? Okay, you know what? I'm going to help you. Let me search Google myself. List of a prophecy. I'm searching. You know what I can do? Of Prophet Muhammad. Okay. You see, I just searched. Okay, it's your it's your fault, not my fault. You Muslims, you made me search it. You don't want to search, so I have to search it. All right. Hmm? There's no Quran. It looks to it turned to be Sahih Bukhari. What? There's no Quran. Okay, hold on. Let us see this uh, page here. This is Islamic website, and they are giving us a list of prophecy from Prophet Muhammad. Let me let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. Hmm. The prophecies of Muhammad. This is the title of the video. I mean, the, the article. Prophecies of Muhammad which were fulfilled in his lifetime after his death. These prophecies are clear proof that Muhammad is a prophethood uh, me and mercy. Okay. Okay, like what? What, like, what is that? The prophet once delivered a speech in the front of us wherein he mentioned everything, all signs. That would happen till the final hour without leaving anything. Man, this guy, he did not leave anything. Some of us remembered it and some forgot it. After that speech, I used to see event taking place, which were to that speech. Like what? But I had forgotten before their occurrence. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, you forgot them? He forgot the prophecies. The guy who is mentioning this, he forgot the prophecies. There are prophecies, they happen, but he forgot them. Okay. I mean, it's obvious. Uh, uh, proceeding the battle of the, the battle of better. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, now you are making fun of us. Okay, hold on. I have to go to the Quran so people will laugh with me. Uh, hmm. Look at this prophecy. Chapter 8, verse number 65 and 66. Muhammad, he made a prophecy. He sent his army to war and he told them, read carefully, Muhammadan. 
hold on, I cannot read this without echo. This is very, you know, expensive it's stuff. Expensive. O prophet throws the believers to fight. If there are twenty amongst you, patient and preserving, they will vanquish, wish, wish, wish. Two hundred, red, 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 red. If a hundred, red, 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 they will vanquish a thousand, thousands, thousands. Okay, they went to war, they got busted. <laughs> and then after they got busted, they come back. And Muhammad now, he have to make a verse to cover his ass, ass, ass. For the present, Allah has lightened your task. For he knows that there is a weak spot on you. What the heck? If there are a hundred of you patient preserving, they will vanquish two hundred. <laughs> what the heck? What is that, man? What happened? Allah, he promised them that if 20 of you can fight 200, that means 1 to 10. They went to war, they lost, they got busted. Muhammad, he said, Allah, now he just found that you have a weakness, brother. So he lightened your task, brother. So from 1 to 10, it became 1 to 2. Muhammad, he found like, man, this is a big poopoo. I told them that one of you can fight ten. They went to war. They got spanked until, until they got fun. And then they come back. And now we have to explain what happened. Because you, they came to him like, you, you, what stupid idiot. You told us one of us can win. We will win. And guys, isn't it obvious here the scam? Because if there is a weakness on them or not, if Allah promised them victory, they will be victorious. Correct? Did Allah promise them victory? Hmm? Watch carefully. If there are 20 amongst you, patient and preserving, what is the condition in the verse? Let us, let us highlight things so we can see it together. Patient and preserving. Because most of them they might say, oh, there's uh, something wrong happened. Here it says, if there is patient and preserving. This is what he is asking for. 20 of you, patient and preserving, they will vanquish 200. That's mean 1 to 10. Here is the same. If there is on you, uh, if you are patient and preserving, so the conditions are the same. Nothing changed. Patient, preserving. You will win. You will vanquish 200. But what? 100 to 1, 200. 1 to 2. So Muhammad, he found that he made an exaggeration and he did get busted. You are calling my friend. Don't call right, right now. We have a Muslim on a call. Hold on. Uh, are you a Muslim? Abdukar Ghazali. Let me log in my Skype, my friend. Just wait. <coughs> my Skype is not on. <coughs> All right. <coughs> oh, 
All right. If you are a Muslim would like to call me, my Skype now right now is open. This guy, his name is Muslim King. If 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 Muslim King. Okay. They call Muslim King. Hold on. Where is Muslim King? Maybe this is an old call. Cause his name disappear. Where is the Where is the Muhammad and he wanna call? What What's your name there? The Muhammad and he wanna call me. Abdul uh, uh, Bakr Ghazali. <clears throat> are you there my friend you said you want to call how come you are not calling so you were lying because I didn't see your call where is your call my Skype right now is open Okay, anyway, maybe he's trying to disturb us. Yeah, I see. Okay, well, uh, thank you guys for the, the, the donation. I apologize if I don't say, I don't think I don't notice you, but uh, I'm sure you don't, you are not waiting for me to say thank you. So really, we appreciate your support. Now, look at here. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fraud? If, he, if you are a promise to be victorious by God, you will be victorious. One, ten, it doesn't matter. What, what, what the difference would be if his God is with you, who could be against you? Like here when Muhammad, he promised him one can fight ten. Is that possible? No, it's not possible. Unless there is, uh, unless all your men are Brosley. I mean, even Brosley. I mean, this is a fabricated movies. A man fighting ten people alone. I mean, it's hard to believe. It, it can happen, but maybe for one person, individual, who is uh, unique in his physique, maybe like me. Yeah, you know, guys, uh, once, uh, because, you know, I have a, I have a mini belt. I have a, 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 I don't remember really how many belt in Karake I have. But uh, anyway, uh, once I was going to do uh, fishing in the, in the desert. And, you know, in the desert, there's a lot of shark. Anyway, so I was capturing a shark from his tail and then an elephant, he come to me. And the elephant, you know, he surprised me. He, he come to me from the back. And then, you know, because I'm very well trained, so I hold the elephant from his neck and I flip him in the front and he fell in the top of the alligator. And yeah, there is alligator in the desert, you know, there, you know, in the area which is like in the Saudi Arabia next to uh, Philippine. Anyway. So, you know, like when I was fighting with the alligator, which was, you know, the elephant, he fell in the top of him. Uh, uh, you know, suddenly a, a big snake have 99 head, it can come to me. And then, you know what, I, I, in order to, to overcome this situation, I took, I remember I have a phone. So I took the phone and I showed the snake herself in the phone in selfie. The, the, the snake get confused because now she is saying 99 head and she start biting the phone. Because she thought this is a snake like her, you know. So the snake, this is a true story, by the way, brother. This is a true story. The snake now get confused. I mean, you must tell why you don't believe my story. I mean, name for me one story your prophet said is not like the story I just said. Elephant coming to destroy the Kaaba in the middle of the desert. How an elephant can go in the desert? Elephant. I mean, the the, the lie is bigger than elephant. An army of elephant coming to Mecca to destroy it. An elephant, he needs 600 uh, liter of water just to drink. Do you think this elephant, he was taking with him a cooler? Carrying it in his, like, in his back, in his shoulder, like backpack? How you can take an elephant in the middle of the desert? This is Saudi Arabia. There's no rivers. There's nothing. Hmm? So why you don't believe in my story? Or what about the story of Suleiman and his flying carpet? It's in the Quran. No, CB. It's not in the Quran, CB. In the interpretation. No, here we go. It says Allah, he gave, gave him the command. He command the wind. Okay, he command the wind to what? To carry his carpet. 
Chapter 21, chapter 34. You see the Quran, by the way, is like a, like somebody, uh, I don't know how to explain to you. I mean, why, why the story is in many places? But let us go to this chapter 34, verse number 12. And to Suleiman, we meet the wind obedient. Its early morning stride was a month journey. An evening was a month journey. A journey in month in distance and what? What is month journey? This is the distance of a donkey. I mean, the speed of a camel. What is that? The wind. The wind carried the flying, the fly, the flat carpet. And if you don't believe me, open the interpretation. Shall we open the interpretation? Yeah, hold on. Let me open the interpretation. But I'm looking at Skype, man. I have a lot of. Uh, People are texting me like crazy. How I can answer all those people? <clears throat> all right, let us open the inter interpretation. And they will say to you, it's not in the Quran. It's in the interpretation. So why it's in the interpretation if it's not the Quran? I mean, why why you Muslims have an interpretation have nothing to do with the Quran? Are you crazy people or what? So the Quran says something, the interpretation says something else? I mean, are you saying the interpretation of the Quran does not match with the Quran? So you are, you are giving interpretation for the verse of the Quran saying something is not in there? Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Chapter 34, verse number 12. <clears throat> I will put it in the screen in a second. Just let me open it first. All right. Oh, fo, 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 fo. La, 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 uh, which tafsir we will show you? I'm not sure. Let us try here. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, here it doesn't say really. Maybe we have to go. Hey, hold on. Let us go to Mikathir. You see, because I have limited uh, translated interpretation, so I, in English. Otherwise, we can find you in Arabic, tons of them. But we want the English one. Otherwise, yeah, they will say, he's lying. It doesn't say that. He's lying. You know them. I mean, we show it in the screen and they say he's lying. So what if it's not in the screen? Let us see here. Um Kathir <clears throat> I will put in the screen guys in a second just let me you know just I'm trying to find what we are looking for. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. I'm not sure what is written there now because Ibn Kathir especially the translation they ate most of the stories. 90% of what is written in the Kathir in English is, I mean, Arabic is gone in the English translation. Now, look at, let us see, look for the flying carpet. <clears throat> what is the flying carpet? I don't see the flying carpet here. Oh, huh, here we go. Okay, finally. Finally. Having mentioned the blessing with which he favored the wood. Allah follow by his mentioning, uh, mentioning, okay, that what we ha he have gave the wood son of Suleiman. May peace be uh, on them both. 
he subjugated the wind to him okay so it would carry his carpet <laughs> He knows, CP. It doesn't say carbon, CP. I mean, what a people of loot voice. Does it say carbon, guys? Does it say gar? This is a true prophecy. So the man actually, it says in different place. I will show you too. Where like he, you know, he carry his carpet can carry six hundred thousand chairs and all the kingship equipment. 600,000 chairs in the top of a flying carpet. Don't you think this is so small? I mean, this is the, the biggest jumbo bumbo mumbo carpet ever. It's bigger than the carpet of my grandfather. You know, like, you know, my my tribe, they are like, we the whole tribe go in the carpet of my grandfather. But, you know, my grandfather, you know, the carpet can take a maximum of 500,000. Brother, the carpet of Suleiman is bigger and here he's saying he favored the wood he favored who the wood this is not for Suleiman right this is what it says and you know and Shabir Ali is saying to you Islam is convincing not only he have a flying carpet he have genie who dive for him Yes, brother. Genie, genie, yeah, genie in the bowl. Hmm? Look what the genie they do for him. And look at the false translation. They make for him statues, they took it off. The genie, the genie, brother. Oh, before here, hold on. And we made a font of Milton brass to flow for him. There's a fountain, a spring of a Fulton, Milton, a Fulton, Tonton, Menton, brass. Flow for him, like as much as you want. And there were genie, he worked in front of him. When the last time you guys you did watch Hori Booter? Be honest with me. Let me remind you of Hori Booter. Is that, is that, is that how you say the name? Hori Booter? Or, Horo Harir, Horo, Hori Butar. Hori. He looks sound like a whore. Hori Butar. Yeah, make fun of my English. It's okay, it's okay. I will I will uh, I will tell Allah about you. Okay, make fun of my English. You know there's somebody once he made fun of a uh, Christian prince. Uh, he woke up in the morning, he found himself look like him. Hmm. Okay? Allah will punish you. Now, brother, which story is more convincing, Hori Bhutar or Allah Prophet Muhammad story? Huh? Hold on, this is not the story I'm looking for. Uh, <clears throat> let us go to this one. Oh boy. Lord of the Ring. What Muhammad he says and what Islam speak about the ring of Suleiman. This ring which if you wear it, you can control the world and control the genie. Nini, nini, nini. Is that true? Muslims, is that true? That you believe that Allah He gave Suleiman a ring, if he wear it, he can control the world. And what Dr. Shabir Ali is saying to us, Islam is convincing. Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call and tell me about the ring of Suleiman from Islamic resource, not from a Christian? Uh, point of view any Muslim can do that who is a proud Muslim
guys who is who of you is a is an admin in the in the page of Sam Shamoon if there's anyone here is an admin in his page there's a person he want to get baptism you know uh, uh, the poor guy he keep begging me for to find a solution for him uh, uh, and I told him I will speak to Sam Shamoon and I keep I forgot do we have any admin here? He work in Sam Shamoon page. Anyone? Okay. Do we have any admin? Who is an admin in Sam Shamoon? Hold on. How to copy a name here in Skype and forward to Sam Shamoon account? Let me see how I can do that. There is a way to do that. I feel sorry here because I, uh, I, you know, he keep he keep asking me. Okay, hold on. I think I found it. Sam. Uh, Sham. What is Sam Shamoon? Which one is Sam Shamoon page? I mean, my Skype is scary to the point you cannot find anyone. Sam uh, Shamoon. What is Sam Shamoon uh, name in, in Skype? You would take the admin? Okay, I will share it with you then. Uh, it takes me, it takes me, uh, okay, hold on. All right, I send you, I send you this guy. Tell me if you receive it. Okay. Just tell Sam Shamu when this person is trying to get a baptism and he sent, he was sent by Christian Prince. All right. All right, that's good. Anyway, uh, we go back to our topic. Sorry, for guys, but I have to help this guy. This poor guy, he keep texting me for a while. Uh, contact card. Okay. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call us, honestly? I mean, as long as you're Muslim, you claim that the Quran, Islam is convincing, there's prophecies, Muhammad, he mentioned. Well, you know, speaking about the past is not different than speaking about the future, especially if a past we do not know. How in the world you believe that there's a guy, his name is Suleiman, he has flying carpet? Huh? And when he wear the ring, he controlled the genie. And not only that, Shaitan, he stole the genie, the, the, the ring. And here the story, maybe this is Shaitan. Is that true? A genie, he came and he stole the ring. And then this genie, Shaitan, he starts sleeping, having sex with the wives of Suleiman. And then the anyone remember how the wives of Suleiman they discover uh, that this is Shaitan? Who remember? How they discover that this is Shaitan? The one is sleeping with him, not Suleiman, because he looked like Suleiman. He took the shape of Suleiman. Hmm? Uh, Republic of China. I have I have no time for stupidity. He don't use a, he use only a phone. He don't have a, a Skype. If a Skype is something for free, don't be an idiot. Download the Skype. Will take you two second. Download the Skype and be proud, the Muslim. Don't are you proud? 
Huh? And by the way, this idiot, this idiot, he said to me that Ibn Sina is a Muslim. And then I got him busted. I said, no, all those you claim and you are proud about their names, they are atheists. Here we go. This is your Islamic website saying Ibn Sina was a kafir. So they go in the stages. They say Ibn Sina was a Muslim. Ibn Khaldun was a Muslim. El, 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 you know, this name, Ibn Haytham was a Muslim. They start counting for your names. And then we study their names. Those names, we find that they are atheists. Or even some of them, they are Christians. Scam. It's a scam. This guy, Ibn Sina, he denied there is a, there is a, a hell and heaven. and He denied all what you believe in. I heard Sheikh al Hawaini say in one of his tapes that Ibn Sina is uh, atheist or kafir. Was he really, brother? Answer, praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world, the Lord of the ring. And me, his blessing. Okay, my brother. Okay. Ibn Sina was accused of being kafir. And an atheist because of his... So look at those people. They are proud about people who they are atheist. Because they are bankrupt. The corruption of Islam is beyond imagination. Somebody who don't believe in what they believe, they make him a Muslim. His name is still a Muslim. <laughs> his name is a Muslim brother his name is a Muslim even if he leave Islam and he making fun of Allah he's a Muslim <laughs> what a troll now we go back to our topic look at this idiot who care who is a Muslim when to tell us why the genie are working for Suleiman and they are making for him statues? I thought the statues is haram in Islam. Does it say they really in the verse they are statues? Or a Christian prince is lying, brother? Hmm? What is the word statues here? Why, why, why the statues is gone in translation? I don't see statues. It says making arches images. Images. Where it says images. Change the translator just to show you the scam of the translation. Hilali and Khan. Images too. Uh -huh. Even those they are seeing images. Let us change the translation. Okay, let us see uh, Itani. Ah, Itani is honest. He said the statues. Why Allah giving Suleiman permission to make a statues? And the statues were the statues for who? I have a question. Human can control jinn, Satan? Human can control jinn, Satan. Well, yeah, according to the story, because of the ring. See, Allah, he gave uh, Suleiman the ring. If you know the story, Suleiman, you know, uh, when Shaitan, he stole his ring by coming in his look. Uh, Suleiman, when he go to the bathroom, he leave his ring with his wife. Hold on, let me show you the story. Let me find the story, hold on, because they might say he's, he's lying, but that is lying. You know them, right? <clears throat> Anyone who speak against Islam is lying. Anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you say. As long as you speak against Islam, you are lying. The second you, the, you support Islam, you are a hero. Here we go. This is the Muslim website and the story in the front of us. Let me read it together. I will put it for you. All right. Now to be sure that you can read it, let me zoom out. 
an account of Suleiman. This is alislam.org, not my website. All right, not a Christian website. And we mean suburban to Suleiman, the wind blowing violent, pursuing its course by his command. Yes, the best one who can read Islam or in a story in Islam or Quran is the Shia. I mean, the Shia are hilarious. Look, you will see a Shia, a scholar, he is saying, he speaks like this. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ashabi Muhammad wa dajjajati Muhammad wa sithani Muhammad wa battati Muhammad wa fatathati Muhammad wa dartati Muhammad Allahu Akbar salli ala Ali Ali wa Fatima wa Allahumma la'an Abu Bakr Allahumma al'an Umar. Allahumma al'an. I mean, this is this is a prayer, a prayer of cursing. All right. Uh, Insha'Allah, my other brother. You know, when they convert to Islam, let me know. As I know, I I you know I went to China. I spoke to Muslim. Nobody there knows what Islam is about. I was dying laughing. Anyway, guys, let us read together. <coughs> Oh. Suleiman brother he ruled for 700 years and 7 months how long how long 700 years brother and 7 months I am so upset what about and 7 days that will make him boing 777 the guy Suleiman he ruled for 700 years and 7 months? Okay. Uh huh. Suleiman army was 100 Bersang, 3,500 miles long. <laughs> Don't you think this is so tiny, brother? 3,500 mile long? My, my friend, you can you will arrive to the moon with this... Uh, what do you mean 3,500? 3, All of this army? Brother, 25% were human, 25% were genie, and 25% they are desert animal. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable true story <laughs> one day I will die laughing <coughs> literally I hope that will happen no problem so brother Desert animal, 25% of his army are desert animal? Like what, brother? Like what? What is in the desert? What animals are in the desert? I think I found one. Hmm. Is that one, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Like, like this guy is like, what the heck? I am in his army now. <laughs> By the way, what the what? <laughs> I can't <have> to breathe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, brother, guys, can you read the text or you cannot read the text? Is the text clear for you? Is the text clear for you? <sighs> it doesn't say that, absolutely. 25% of his army is animal from the desert? 25% <laughs> are birds. Like, what the heck? 
25 percent of his army are birds <laughs> oh boy <coughs> okay uh, let me introduce to you mr chick he just joined the army of suleiman and there is turkey uh, there is a chicken uh, here this is the captain actually this is the colonel hmm? he is a colonel in the army of suleiman hmm. all right what else Uh, 1,000 house of a glass. If, 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 if. We are made above wood. In them, 300 wives and 700 slave girls lived. <laughs> Suleiman used to order strong wind to lift the house and order a soft wind to move the house slowly therefore allah revealed to him when he was between the heaven and the earth i have increased your king kingship in such a way that if anybody speak in any part of your kingdom the wind will make his conversation rich to you. If, 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 if. Suleiman, he can hear any fart in his kingdom. You fart at the end of China, Suleiman, he hear you. Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Please don't fart. Please don't fart. Don't fart. Don't fart. I mean, what is this, man? Don't you think this is too much <laughs> science convincing? <coughs> and then, I mean, why am I, why am I even reading those for you? I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on. <clears> Ta'ala <throat> being narrated when Suleiman traveled, in movable equipment he used to take along his household, his army, his servant, his accountant, and his scribe. They used to sit on the roof next to the roof, roof where? Next to each other at one corner. The kitchen of Suleiman also used to be with him having large vessel in which at the time 100 camel could be cooked if, 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 if. I mean don't you think that this cooking pot is so big 100 camel 120 camel this is small I'm so disappointed only 100 camel inside that cooking pot brother let me introduce for you the kitchen of Suleiman. in the picture they look small brother but in reality it can fit 120 camel i mean look they know even how many camels there can fit inside the pot <coughs> well he is lying you know my skype is open he did not call me okay. uh, tapi, uh, uh, text the person he is online now and give him the you know the contact of uh, Sam Shamu he just texts me. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let us continue. Guys, should we continue or stop here? What do you think? You tell me, you know, here we are, uh, <laughs> customer service. <laughs> Who is here? Uh, and he is not convinced yet that Islam is very convincing. 
Anyone is not convinced yet? Who is not convinced yet? I mean, it's very normal to put 120 camels in a pot, cooking pot. My grand grand grandfather, he used to put 130 uh, <clears throat> Uh, beans inside his cooking pot yep okay we continue could be in the front cooked in the front there was a ground for guard drops what is that drops what is that they were used used to grass grass what does that mean I don't know I'm sure what that mean chef we're busy in cooking and artisan busy in their craft and the horses were tied in the front of him and the passat was a flying if 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 one day he traveled from the outskirt of shiraz shiraz in iran suleiman he was a fly he, he was landing in shiraz me I was saying to myself, why Suleiman looked like a Persian? He went to Shiraz. Aha! He's a friend of Suleimani. <laughs> so he traveled from Shiraz toward Yemen. <laughs> and passed <laughs> in Medina. <laughs> Suleiman, be careful. Corona, virus Corona came from Mecca. You will get infected, brother. And this is a place of Hijrah, of the last prophet, Muhammad for sure. What a good person he is he who will believe in him and follow him. Okay. On seeing Suleiman, Kaaba started weeping. <laughs> Kaaba is crying. The, the Kaaba when 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 the when the Kaaba saw Suleiman, the Kaaba start weeping. Like what the heck? Hold on, I need I need the I need a special uh, a shot of vodka here. <laughs> I don't drink really. I mean, I drink sometimes beer, like once a year, maybe. Uh, hold on. Kaaba. Uh. I'm going to help you, brothers and sisters. Let me use my art. I mean, it's not worth it, really. The Kaaba is a crying. I mean, what a big deal. It's normal. Happen. It happened all the time. Allah asked the Kaaba why it was weeping. Look at this story. Suleiman is a flying. He passed by the Kaaba. The Kaaba started crying. Allah, he come, but he did not bring with him a tissue, to be honest with you. He said to the Kaaba, why? Why you are crying? Why? The Kaaba said, O Creator, one of your prophet and his people passed by me. Neither did he stop nor perform prayer near me. And the polyest have kept idle around me. What a story, man. La 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 la. When the Kaaba cry, everybody say goodbye. Allah, he was wondering, asking himself why. The Kaaba right away reply, she said over me, a prophet, he did a fly, and his people, they walk by, and they did not pray. And I ask you, Lord, please, why? 
Allah said, Don't lament very soon. I will fill your land with worshippers and will reveal Quran. If, 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 if Quran wasn't exist at that time, he did not reveal it yet. I mean, the story is very long. We are, we are going to stay the whole night here. How many of you is bored? Anyone is bored? Who is, who is yawning here? Anyone is yawning? Be honest with me. Anyone is yawning? Anyone is yawning? If you are yawning, that means you are bored. But this is from Shaitan, brother. Yeah, the Kaaba is talking. What's wrong with you? The Kaaba talk and Kaaba cry. In the Middle East, everything cry. Kaaba cry. I mean, you cry too when you go there. Dust all, all over. People will step in your toes. Your wallet will be gone in two seconds. You put bars in your window, they steal your house still. I mean, you cry. <coughs> you are snoring. Okay, don't you know the snore is haram? I mean, I mean, you people are weird. Honestly, people are weird. Very weird people. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let us continue. Let us continue, please. What we can do. What we can do. I wanted to show you the the ring story. Where is the story ring? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> anyway, it's here. Here, Suleiman became the king after his father. He ordered for a, uh, a very rare and beautiful throne, so that he sits on it. And give judgment and the false witness and the wrongdoer would be get scared from coming near it the throne was made of ivory now we know who was killing animals who was behind the global warming ivory uh-huh and rubies and emerald and different type of jewels were fixed on it four golden chandeliers uh, which bunches of red rubies and emerald emerald emerald, emerald i mean how this guy here is english <laughs> we are fixed around it and one of one two of them we are fixed in golden what is that back pacox i don't know what this word is hold on Pick, pick, oh, pick, uh, uh, Muslims, this guy, you don't read English, you don't read Arabic. Uh, pick, pick, oh, uh, just call, jump, jump over it, jump over it, brother, jump over it. Uh, mute him, mute him. Uh, on opposite pair, we're golden uh, vultures on both sides. Two golden lions were fixed on its head was a ma ma is that uh this is not mac is it i like you have an iMac or what no man <laughs> of emerald color and around it was a tree of red grapes and it was it is a bunches of red rubies i mean look how many the rubies all over the branches of a grape shaded the sea oh man what 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 a throne man i'm getting dizzy here How they get in so those information? I mean, they have details, man. They have all the details. Whenever Suleiman he want to sit on the throne, the first step on the stair made the seat roll out. The vulture and the here we go. This is a bad word again. I mean, I'm, this is embarrassing. I don't know how to read it. Okay, big be, big cook. Be, is it big cook? Is that how they say big cook? Okay, I will mute you now. Uh, fluttered their wings. Ah, those like uh, animals. Ah, those are like a bird. Bird. Ah, peacock. Yeah, okay, I got it, the peacock. 
Uh, fluttered their wings and the lion kept its four legs. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, ground touching the stomach and waged their tails. So those are real animals alive. The guy, he want to go to the throne, he go in the top of them. So as he climbed the steps, the action was performed by these things until Suleiman seated himself. Then, I mean, I'm getting dizzy. <sighs> I know peacocks is a bird. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's a bird. Let me find this picture. Hold on. Yeah. Very beautiful bird, actually. We have many of them in the Middle East. But sadly, they are killing them. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. They are just around the throne, you know. He, they open their wings so Suleiman he can climb. True. It make a lot of sense. <clears throat> Let us see somebody, uh, somebody trying to call or just. Uh... <clears throat> uh... I don't know. Let us see if this guy is a Muslim you want to call. Anyway, we continue. <clears throat> I mean, you can read the details. The details is amazing, it's stupid. I mean, this is, you know, stupidity. Uh, but, you know, I want to go to the story where I'm speaking about the rings. Let me look for the ring story. Where is the ring? Suleiman ring. Hmm. <clears throat> Suleiman ring had the following inscrip insc inscription purified <coughs> the Lord who has controlled the jinn with his words if, if. this is what is written in the ring of Hori Buddha. in other reliable, tra reliable tra tradition is narrated from Imam Muhammad al-Bakir that one night Ali Ali after sleeping for some time, woke up and come out of the courtyard of his house and said, Your Imam has come to you wearing the dress of Adam, ring of Suleiman, and holding the staff of Moses. If, if, if. It was narrated one day that with his grand grandeur, and, and the dignity passed by worshipper of Israeli blah 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 what is the story of the ring man I want to show you the ring story okay hold on hold on I'm trying to find the ring story this is okay hold on aha here we are getting close now <clears throat> Where is the story? All right. Took out the ring. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go back I'm trying to find where the story starts about the ring okay but I don't see anything yet here hmm
And the funny here, they say, reliable chain of narration. <laughs> narrator. <laughs> so this is a Muslim trying to quote, I think. All right. We will call him back. <clears throat> Oh, this is not a Muslim. Hold on. I was calling the wrong number, maybe. Yeah, this is not a Muslim calling. My friend, only if you are a Muslim, call me. Only if you are a Muslim, call me. That is not a Muslim. Anyway, let us see. You know what? I will exit Skype because too many disturbing people texting me. Nobody is, no Muslim is calling. So let me sign out. Otherwise, I will keep looking at text. All right. I want to see where, you know, when uh, Suleiman, he gave his ring to his wife. Okay. <clears throat> so man told that do sin perform house of you know, no. I want to show the story where he go to the bath <coughs> to the bathroom and then Shaitan he come and he take the ring Look at it, guys. Look at this. According to a reliable chain of narrators, it's narrated from Muhammad al Bakr that Suleiman had ordered jinn to make a mosque of mirror and put it in, a, in the river. Jinn made that mosque and put it in the river. Few days remained for it its completion. Suleiman entered the mosque and Taking uh, uh, support of the staff was uh, reacting. Uh, Zabur and Shaitan were busy around him. Shaitans are busy around him. So Suleiman was looking at them and they were looking at him. Suddenly Suleiman, he saw the corner of the mosque, a young person. He asked, who are you? He replied, I am the one who does not accept a bribe, nor I do do I fear any king. Okay, this is, must be uh, who's this person? Must be Ali. <laughs> I oh, I am the angel of death, and the same position he look he took away the soul of Suleiman, like me. The guy, he just built a mosque from mirror and the angel of death, he came and he took his soul. People saw him in the same position he was like for one year. Now, who knows where this is in the Quran, this is a story. The Muslim believe that uh, Suleiman, he died and he stays standing uh, uh, and nobody notices he's dead. Is that true? <clears throat> is that true, Muslims? Who here is a Muslim believe really in this story, which is mentioned in the Quran? That Suleiman, he died, and because he was holding his staff, nobody noticed that he is dead. For one year he is standing. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Nobody?
until the ants ate his staff. Correct. So uh, this is, can be found if you go in the Quran, uh, chapter 38, verse number 34. You know? Uh, but in the Quran is mentioned that we made him uh, appear in his chair. <clears throat> anyway, the jinn were busy in their work and did not dare to check the condition of Suleiman, nor they see any change in him until Allah, he sent white ants and they ate the stuff from inside. <laughs> and he fell down. <laughs> Uh, Shabir Ali, how are you? How are you, brother? How are you? Islam is convincing. By the way, Shia Sunni stories, all of them, they are the same. This, this is this is accepted by Sunni and Shia stories. So they they will not they cannot say to us this is Shia. This is you know this is Sunni and Shia. Both of them they believe in the same garbage. Both of you. If there is any Muslim have a comment? <clears throat> the guy is dead for one year and nobody noticed. His wives did not check on him. His ministers, his soldiers. Nobody. Man. Now, this guy is a king. I mean, you are a king and you are dead for one year and nobody notice. And you are standing up. And then Allah... <clears throat> look, you know, guys, look, look what this Muslim is busy about. Just to show you what we are talking about. When, when you are a Muslim, you are out of this world. Look, Suleiman and Solomon is the same but different spelling and like Ibrahim and Abraham. <laughs> That's what you are worried about. You are not worried about the garbage in your book. You are worried now about the spelling of the name. I mean, all this poo, -poo we just read for you. And all what you are worried about, and you are a Muslim, is the spelling. I mean, this is the problem, right? Guys, this person is helping us. The spinning, the spinning, you know, is different, but the same person. I mean, all this garbage we just showed you, I mean, all what you have for us is Suleiman is the same as Sul uh, 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 Solomon. I thought you will call me, you want to prove us wrong, you want to explain, you want to be proud maybe, but no, you are busy with the... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, do you know why Allah He sent white ants? Are they are those are Muslim ants? Why they are not black ants? How come those ants are white? And look, they ate the staff from inside. I mean, look how they make the story. Because if they eat it from outside, people will notice that ants all over his staff. So they look, look, look at Allah, the trick of Allah, unbelievable. They start eating the staff from inside the brother. Isn't it amazing, brother? Eating the staff from inside, and they are white ants. And that, it takes them one year. I mean, what kind of ants those ants? They are very slow, man. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, racist God. Even the ants, his ants are white. Due to this, the jinn thanks the ant. Look, 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 look. The genie, they came to the ant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, ant. Thank you for eating the stuff because now we know now that he is dead. They thanks the ant, the white ants, and whenever white ant occur, they provide for them water and mud. If, 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 if. It's a reward time. It's a reward time. The ants now are being spoiled by the genie because they ate the staff of Suleiman. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we leave a lot of money. I mean, how in the world I'm ending talking about this garbage? Spending my night speaking about this. Spending my life speaking about this stupid, stupid garbage cult. And they make videos saying the reason to believe in Islam, Islam is convincing. Answer me, CP, why you don't answer on Skype? I, mean, I just uh, log off of Skype. I mean, I am on Skype for the last two hours and the guy now answer me why you aren't answering Skype. What do you want, my, sister, my friend uh, uh, Hassan? Do you want to call me? <clears throat> yeah, I'm scared. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go on Skype. Hold on. Are you scared? For sure we are scared. We are always scared. Okay, I'm here. I'm, I am back in uh, Skype. What is your name in Skype? Mahmoud? Is that you, Mahmoud Rasul? <coughs> okay, Mahmoud, I will call you. It says you are offline, Mahmoud. Mahmoud, are you there, Mahmoud? Is that your voice? What is that? Mahmoud? Here we go. Answer, Mahmoud. Answer. I'm calling you, brother. <coughs> Meow? Mahmoud is speaking meow? You are meow now? Who is this? Your dad or your mom? <laughs> what a stupid idiot. Meow. <laughs> are you scared? And then we call him and he say to us meow. What a troll. Meow. May Allah meow you. Meow, huh? <clears throat> All right. We will log again off Skype. Otherwise, we will be disturbed. I see. We have nothing really except a bunch of idiots. Meow, huh? We thought he's a man, he turned to be a cat. Uh, maybe he's a white ant, you never know. So guys, uh, the, 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 the genie, they say thank you to the white ants, and whenever white ants occur, they provide them with water, and why the, why the ants need water? And the mud, they want mud? Man, the ants, they like mud? I don't know that. When Suleiman expired, expired, he became the book. Hey, Muslim from Indonesia, Suleiman became the book. Do you see it? I'm not the one saying, hey, we go read with me. When Suleiman expired, he became the book. Prophet Suleiman have an expired date. Prophet Suleiman, he been expired while he was not awake. Prophet Suleiman, he died over his stake. Prophet Suleiman, the angel of death, his soul he picked. Prophet Suleiman, his story is so crazy. And if you are not converting into Islam, take it easy. I'm really convinced of all the stories. I'm really convinced of all the territory. 
So beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, the guy, he died for one year standing on a stake. The ants, they come. They eat the stuff. I mean, this is the best movie for the coming century. I mean, who can make a movie? Somebody contact Hollywood. Hello, Hollywood. Hello, who, who, who would? Who can make a movie better than this? And then Satan, he wrote a book of magic. If, 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 if. He also wrote uh, the back of the book that is this book is one which Asif Bani Barkhila wrote for Sarima. If, 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 if. And in it, the treasure of and wealth of the knowledge. Mean. I know the book of, I know the name of this book. It's called The Deception of Allah by Christian Friends. <laughs> in it, wrote that any person want that his such and such a work done he should perform this magic <clears throat> guys why we have only 640 54 i'm re i'm really upset now where is everybody okay hold on i'm going to send white ants to your house each one of you and they will eat not only your staff, they will eat your mother-in-law. I know that this will be a reward for them. Let me forget a better punishment. Uh, the white ants, what is the best food in there? Uh, what, what, what Indonesian people like to eat? Hey, Indonesian uh, uh, brothers and sisters, what is your favorite dish in Indonesia? It's one in the morning. Where is one in the morning? In which country it's one in the morning? Oh, you mean in USA? Uh, but it's not one in the morning in the USA. I mean, it's... Actually, yeah, it's almost one. What is the best dish in uh, Indonesia? Because I'm going to send the ants to eat your dish. If you don't bring your friends right now, you're right here, right now. Only 646. And I'm telling you stories. You don't deserve it. If I'm, you know, like a cartoon movie, you will, you will, you will have more, more viewers. What's wrong with you? Where is the ustad? Where is those ustad to read for us? I want to give the microphone to Anastas to read for us those uh, beautiful stories. Fried rice is the best food in Indonesia. I mean, from all the beautiful food in man, what's wrong with you? Don't be cheap. All the beautiful food in Indonesia. You mentioned only fried rice. I see them in YouTube, man. They have a shrimp, they have lobster, they have a crazy stuff there. Very, very tasty. You mention only the rice. I'm sick of rice. Every day I'm eating rice. To the point I'm going to sense my name. <clears throat> Jangol, Jangol. The name of the food is Jangol. I don't know what does that mean. <clears throat> Yeah, actually, in Asia, uh, they have really nice, uh, you know, like I've been mean, in many Asian countries, uh, they have a very nice variety of, uh, of vegetables and uh, spice and things we don't have really here in USA. Uh, in USA, uh, our, our food is very, uh, I mean, limited. I mean, we go to the market to buy. Uh, you don't find the same they have in those countries. They have a lot of things to, to enjoy. Yeah, good for you, my friend. Good. <clears throat> now, don't make me hungry. Don't worry, I will not be hungry. I ate already. And, all right. So they perform magic and the work will get done. And he buried the book under the body of Suleiman. Look at this, the mummy movie. I mean, this remind me of the mummy. Do you see the devil, how he is evil? He wrote a book of magic and he hide the book under the body of Suleiman. How many of you watched the mummy movie? Me. I 
and you guys are not con not not convinced yet. <clears throat> a gong. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Jesus loves you too, my friend. Who who is not convinced here? Shaitan he wrote a book <clears throat> and he hide the book under the body of Suleiman. Who wanna go with me in in hiking so we can find the book under the body of Suleiman? Who wanna go with me? Anyone? I mean, really, I'm going to do. I'm going to buy those uh, machine who you put them in their ears, you know, and they have like a, a magnetize. And because uh, this uh, book, uh, obviously, it's covered by gold and silver and stuff, brother. So we can use this machine to find it. Hmm. Oh boy. Who is a Muslim is proud about his <laughs> very convincing belief. <clears throat> I am in. Oh, here we go. We got somebody joining the mission. <clears throat> Maybe we shall continue tomorrow. I mean, the story is heavy. I mean, how you can digest this story? How in the world a human being he can digest such a story? I mean, we are in the year 2020 and there is, it's hard to believe that there's hundreds of millions that believe in this madness. Hmm. Tell us about cannibalism in Islam. Yeah, well, you are late, my friend. You want to talk about it one o'clock in the morning <laughs> before we sleep? <laughs> our, <coughs> our friend here, he want to take a change our subject to talk about eating a human in Islam <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning. Those people, they will see bad dreams, my friend. I mean, just leave it with the white ants for now, you know? Don't turn it to be about zombie. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy, I'm getting sleepy too. <laughs> yeah, actually, in the in the Al Azhar University, they teach their students. You can find the video on YouTube actually. This is two Muslims who are talking on TV about what they have in their textbooks. That if you are uh, a kafir, it's okay to eat you, but without cooking you. But if you are a Muslim who became kafir, they should cook you. Right? <clears throat> no problem. We get them busted in that, you know. The Pact of Amor is in my book. People can go and read it and see how stupid it is. Do we have any uh, any Muhammadan want to say anything? Yeah, actually, I'm getting tired, really. I'm sleepy. I cannot hold myself from Yanin. Yanin, remember, Yanin from Shaitan. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know, we can continue tomorrow. We can continue the story. Remember where we stop. We stop where Shaitan, he buried, and, uh, you know, he buried the book under the body of Suleiman. I mean, why under the body of Suleiman? <laughs> Who of you want this website? Who who won this website? I'm going to post it so in case you want to save it, because later you might need it and you want to show your friends or something, you know, and uh, you might not be able to find it that easy. So I advise you to save it in your reference. Always, you know, guys, always save save make reference. You know, organize your bookmark. You can make a file even in Word, Office, etc. 
For me, I wish I can do that, but it's too much to do. I mean, it's impossible. But for you, um, you know, you have your own interest in certain reference. So you can organize them, like you make a folder in your bookmark, let us say for magic stories, so, you know, or about violence, you know, just uh, for easy finding. <clears throat> yeah, Allah does not like yelling, yeah, absolutely. He likes sneezing. So anyway, guys, I think it's time for me to go because I can, you know, I can tell I'm, uh, I'm losing my energy. And uh, actually, usually I don't get uh, so sleepy like this. I'm not sure why I'm so sleepy. I feel really so sleepy. It's like almost I'm going to sleep in the table. <laughs> Do you think somebody did the black magic for me, brother? I mean, that's a true story, you know? The problem is, sometimes you feel so sleepy, but when you go to sleep, you don't sleep. Then I'm afraid that would happen to me because it happened many times. You feel, you know, I'm the kind like, oh, I'm really yawning. <laughs> I'm trying to hold myself. It's not working. <laughs> Thank God I don't work for Fox News. They will fire me from the first day, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, by the way, just to warn you, if you watch our program and you laugh a lot, uh, that, that's mean you will gain weight. Do you know that? In case you are in diet and you want to lose weight, laughing too much will make you too... There's two things will happen to you. You will get healthy, but you will gain weight at the same time. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. God bless you. Anyway, guys, I want to say really thank you for all those who come here, all of you, my family, my friends, brothers and sisters, and maybe parents, you know, they are older, way older than me. And I respect you all. I love you all. And I appreciate those who support us by donation too, you know, and those who add subtitles to the videos. I appreciate all of you. Uh, our mission is not easy. And the second you find this cult, the devil will open all doors he have on you. He will try to attack you in every way, in every mean. They will try anything they can, anything they possess, so they can put you down. But don't let that make you hesitate. That actually should make you work harder. You know? Uh, imagine... You, you you think that there is, let us say, a devil in an area. Let us say, let us try to uh, make it some little bit visual as if it's something physical we will see. So imagine you travel for far distance because you thought that devil, he live here in this area and you want to fight this devil. You want to defeat him. And then you go there and you see nothing. Nobody is fighting you back. Nobody is even upset from you. So what is this devil? The devil is not there. But if the devil is there, that means your mission was right. How you know? It's how much resistance you will see. How much fight back is there. This is how you examine it. And as you see, we are hurting Islam very much. Islam is in pain very much and the more pain we cause to this stupid cult the more violent the more aggressive the more crazy those who defend it will go and that does not make us hesitate it's the opposite it confirmed that we are right on the target we are not wasting time and we are not doing wrong the lord he said my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance and we are here to give you the animation to fight ignorance ignorance is self-destruction you would destroy yourself by your ignorance you see now people they are dying because of corona and corona is a little tiny virus 
how little tiny virus can kill a human being, which is in the size of millions of times of the size of this virus? Ignorance. Your body have ignorance. Cannot fight this virus. Have no training for it. He have no, he's not prepared. There is a there is a weak the weakness now in the body is the ignorance of your immune system. So this virus he knew how to penetrate your immune system and destroy you. And that's exactly what happened to us when it's come to spirituality too, not only physically. In spirituality, always there's a virus waiting for you to take you down. And this virus can take you down only if your immune system is weak. And how your immune system can be weak? If you are away from God, if you don't understand the word of God, and if you are not educated, then you will be a victim of a little tiny virus. His name is Muhammad. He's so small, but he's so huge to the ignorance. He's so small to a believer, so small to a person who have knowledge. So be careful and don't think that Satan has no power. He have a lot of power. And he will use all his power to mislead you, to misguide you, to take you away from your mission. Never let him do that to you. I want to say thank you again. And I pray that the Lord will open our eyes and the eyes of the Muslims, the eyes of the Hindus, the eyes of everybody in this earth. So they can see the truth and the truth will set them free. <clears throat> and the Messiah, the Lord, he said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the resurrection. I am the life. The life. What a beautiful word. The life. The life is the power of God. It's a living power. And those who believe on God, they will have this power of life to live for eternity. It will be given to them as a gift from God forever. And time will be countless. There's no time. And happiness, we cannot describe it because there's no sadness. And because the Lord, the Messiah, he is from above. He said, my kingdom is from above, not here. This is why his kingdom have nothing to do with the description of the heaven of Islam, where it's only about sex and food and drinking. It's a pimp house. The heaven of the Messiah is very, very beautiful. It's not about money, because who need money there? It's not about jewelries because what you want to do with jewelry is there like in the quran it's not about a grape and food it's about being happy and the happiness will be given to you no one can describe eating something can make you enjoy a taste of food for a little time so the one who gave you the ability to enjoy little food, can't he be able to make you enjoy something you never saw before? Yes, he can. The one who make you enjoy a scene, a scenery, a tree, a beach, a sky, the blue, the blue sky, how beautiful it is. Can't he give us more beautiful happiness, something we never saw before? Everything around us says, yes, he can. And because he is holy, so his happiness will be holy due to his nature. So his house will be holy house. And those who attend this house, they will be holy people. And this is why in the heaven of Islam does not fit with the heaven of the Messiah. For the heaven of the Messiah is holy. For we are attending the house of holy God and the heaven of Islam is nothing but filth, madness, 
in slavery, sexuality, and food, and money, and drinking, and jewelry. To make it simple, the heaven of Islam is a night club of the devil. The heaven of the Messiah is more beautiful than the blue sky and more clear than the clear water. All those things which Muhammad he promised in his heaven is not going to be there. It is against the nature of God. Muhammad, he promised money and jewelry and gold and silver, cups of silver, cups of gold. Who needs silver and gold in heaven? He promised you women who will be sex slave. Who needs sex slave? Even in heaven there are sex slaves. Where is justice? So we die, we wake up to go to heaven, and then we find even in heaven there is injustice. 80,000 little child to serve me in heaven? 80,000 to do what? And what kind of heaven is going to enslave its children to make me happy? Does, it, does that make you happy? To see a child, he will be a servant for you for eternity as they claim he is a servant? This is not God. And this is not justice. Thank you again for being here. May the Lord bless you. Enjoy your weekend. And don't forget to pray for those who need your prayer. For the sick, for the poor, for the needy. And if you can help them, please do. Because a prayer alone, without the fruits, is a false prayer. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Bye-bye.